When we do the calculations of contributions to climate change, we are faced with a lot of choices that we have to make about how to do the calculations. We have to decide how long back in time we will consider the emissions from the different countries and their effects. And we also have to decide when we measure the impact in the models on climate change. Should the evaluation be here, be now, or sometime into the future? And actually, what aspects of climate change are we concerned about? Is global mean temperature uh, change the right indicator? Or should we look at precipitation, extreme events, sea level rise? So there are also choices related to the indicator itself. And uh, furthermore, which components should be included? CO2 is the main driver of man-made climate change, but there are also other gases and also aerosols, and we have both warming and cooling components. So if you go from only CO2 and down to all the components that uh, are affecting climate from man-made emissions, you get very different uh, answers regarding the contributions to climate change. So time frames for the emissions and when we measure the impacts and how, which indicator is, has a large impact on uh, the calculated contributions. I think the starting point is that, in particular in developing countries, when I start talking to people from uh, scientists, but in particular people from the disaster risk reduction community and politicians, the first thing they say is, oh, this is really relevant in terms of loss and damage. Um, loss and damage is now, since Paris, officially not on liability and compensation, but the work of what, uh, of uh, the work of event attribution uh, is also relevant in terms of recognizing um, loss and damage, and so we don't know very well at the moment what the impacts of anthropogenic climate change are, but we know that the largest damages are through extreme weather events and in linking the signs of event attribution with, uh, with the damages we see and say which ones of those are actually from or caused or made more likely by anthropogenic climate change. And it's by no, no means all of them we can, uh, we can get an inventory of the impacts of anthropogenic climate change which in turn then can inform the loss and damage debate. can be linked to countries' individual contributions to greenhouse gas and other climate gas emissions. Um, we are currently working on that and the work is ongoing and not published yet, but it will be published hopefully soon. How contributions then link to responsibility and in particular liability is not so much a scientific question but more a legal question and a moral question. But there is definitely a link from contributions to responsibility. It's just not a direct link.